Okay, today we're gonna rebuild the disk drive on a PS4. Um, we're gonna need a couple tools to do this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need a game to test it to make sure it works after we're done. The controller, um, obviously, to test it. Um, we're gonna need a razor blade. We're gonna need a normal, just standard, uh, smaller Phillips screwdriver, um, normally used for desktops and that kind of thing. A size zero Phillips screwdriver, you can get these in a Stanley kit from Walmart for like five bucks. And we're gonna need a uh, security T9 bit. And what makes it a security is it has a little dent in the top of it. Um, so this is what we're gonna use for a lot of the screw bits. Um, we got this one out of our iFixit kit that we won in uh, Las Vegas with E-Tech parts. Um, you can get them online at iFixit.com and they're great tool kits. They have pretty much every single bit you could possibly ever use in this field. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to get it open, is we're gonna slide this open. So we're going to take our T9, we're going to take out all of these screws here. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, plus the uh, one Phillips bit for the hard drive. If you want to cut corners, you actually don't have to take out the hard drive for the disk drive repair, but we're going to take it out just to be safe. Okay, you can get your hard drive out. We're ready for the next step. Okay, for the next step, we're gonna look at the back of the PS3. You're gonna have two warranty stickers here. Um, for the disk drive, you just have to take out the bottom one, and there's gonna be a sticker here and a sticker here. And once you take out all those stickers, there's gonna be the security bits that are underneath them. So what I like to do is take a razor blade and just get right underneath that sticker to get it off. Okay, and we're gonna take our T9 again. We're gonna take out the three screws and they're all black. And we're gonna flip the PS4 over. The bottom comes right off. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we see it here, the disk drive is here. We have to remove the power supply to get to it. There's a couple screws holding in the disk drive. Uh, there's four total that will hold it in. And the thing that makes this repair a little diff different is the fact that the disk drive, you can't really see it from the top because it's underneath the motherboard. Um, so you kind of have to reverse engineer it, which I'm going to show you how it works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our T9, and we're going to take out all the screws around the perimeter that we can. Then we got those out, those are the ones that we can actually see. We're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> These two in the corner here are gonna be Phillips bits. Um, so you're gonna have to pay attention to that when you put it back together. Or you can just leave them halfway in there. Then the power supply will pull straight out. Okay, there we go. And now you have on this side, if you look, it's plugged in there. So we're gonna unplug that from the board and you're good to go. Okay, 
Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect. What I like to do to make this a little easier, instead of having to disconnect this ribbon cable, is we're going to get rid of this whole uh, board here. Um, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take our size zero screwdriver and we're going to take out one screw here, three, uh, two and three. This is going to remove this metal plate for us. So once we get that out of the way, we now have this uh, board here. We're going to take out this screw here, which holds it in place. We're going to disconnect this because this goes to the laser. We're going to disconnect this. And just pull it back like that. There's one last security bit here. We're going to take that out and then we can remove our disk drive. Pause it. All right, so we're going to move this. This here is our uh, antenna for our Wi Fi. And we can just lift the disk drive right out of there. Then we have this ribbon cable here. You can just disconnect that. So now we have our whole disk drive assembly. Now comes to the fun part of figuring out how it works. So the first thing we're gonna do to figure out how it works before I show you how everything does actually work is we're gonna take off the bottom plate here, this plastic um, kind of housing. And we're gonna take out, it's gonna be three screws holding it in. So remove those with our size zero Phillips. And that will just come right off. You just have to be careful with this uh, ribbon cable for the laser. And what you can actually do is just disconnect it from the inside here. So that is that. <clears throat> then we have our laser assembly have our gearing, and on this side we have the top. Okay, now we have the top of the disk drive. We're gonna take out three. This is gonna remove this top assembly. And then we can learn how it works. And once we learn how to figure out how it works, then we can uh, pretty much figure out any time anything's going wrong. So we're gonna just lift this straight up, like butter. Now, the way that this disk drive works is you have these two things here um they have some kind of like a silicone material on them or something like that it's like kind of a soft plastic and pretty much what it does is it gives grip and when you when the motor spins these will suck in and push out the disc so if we look at the bottom of the disc drive assembly we have the motor that's back here which is belt driven to all the gears well we can easily turn one of the gears here so as this turns and turns there's a mechanism on this top assembly here that will, after the disc gets to a certain point, will push this forward into uh, this uh, assembly here. And what it'll do is suck the disc in, those will go down, and it will then start reading the disc. So, when it goes out, and all I'm doing is turning this big gear here, then it'll come to there. So one good way to test if everything is working the way it should is if you put this top assembly on. Get it there. And you put one of the screws back and the one in this corner here. You take yourself a disc. I know it's an Xbox kit disc, but I just need something to simulate a disc. You put it in like so should be able to turn this gear and everything work the right way. And then at this point it would start spinning and reading and whatnot. So the problem with this one is not that it's, it's not uh, taken into this. Uh, the problem is that it's making a really weird grinding noise when you do so. So we have to figure out which gear is messed up.
Um, but when you turn it the opposite direction, of course, it needs to spit it out. Okay, so now we've got it rebuilt. Um, we figured out that one of the gears was actually misaligned um, because something had just uh, got knocked in there. So when we disassembled the disk drive, it fell out. Um, it was actually a little small black plastic piece. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And hope for the best. And we have our PS4 game. Let's get our controller here. And now, we should take the disc in with relative ease. Well, that's good. Inject it. Sweet. Let's make sure it works. I believe that might mean it's working. Now the reassembly process is pretty straightforward. Um, all you do is reverse the steps. There's nothing really difficult about it if you just remember um, to put in the one uh, security bit in the uh, CD drive that's hidden underneath the, the board. And it looks like it is working perfectly fine. So we've successfully uh, repaired a PS4.